Today, I'll be tying one of my favorite overlooked flies. To start, we'll attach some black thread to our hook shank, secure it tightly, and snap the excess free. Continue wrapping just before the bend of the hook and reverse your thread's direction back towards the hook eye, at which point we'll grab some brassy wire, here I'm using amber, secure it tightly to your hook shank, and wrap back towards the tail. Once complete, return your thread back to the head of the fly and grab some more brassy wire, this time I'm using copper. Once again, securing your copper wire to your hook shank and wrapping back towards the bend of the hook. Once complete, return your thread forward, taking thread wraps to smooth out our body as we work our way to the hook eye. Whip finish if you have a rotary vise and set your thread to the side. We'll begin by grabbing our copper wire and using our vise's rotary function to carefully wrap it up the body, doing so in closed touching spirals and continue to do so until you reach your thread. To make sure you don't leave any gaps, one simple thing to do is to position your wire slightly backwards so that the previous wrap helps guide it in place. Once we reach our thread, we'll secure, taking a couple thread wraps and helicoptering the excess free. Next, grab your amber wire and begin to wrap this forward and begin to wrap this forward in open spirals. This adds a little bit of texture and character to our body. Once we reach our thread, we'll secure, taking thread wraps both in front, as well as behind the wire, and helicopter the excess free. Secure your wires in place by wrapping back on them slightly, and grab some dubbing. Here I'm using a tan, synthetic blend, create a dubbing noodle, and begin to wrap this around the head of our fly. And brush it out to give it a nice, buggy look. Pull any excess fibers free and wrap back on the dubbing slightly, creating a base for our next step. We'll then grab a partridge feather, pull the fibers backwards, and snip away a small section, leaving us with a small triangle that we can use as a tie-in point. Secure it to the head of the fly, and use a pair of hackle pliers to begin to spin it around the head of our fly. We'll take two wraps, carefully positioning our second wrap in front of the previous. Secure with your thread, and snip the excess free. Use your thread to clean up the head section and pull any fibers back to ensure you don't trap them. Whip finish to hold everything in place. Snip your thread free and paint over the head with some UV resin. This will add durability to our fly, as well as improve the look of our head section. And this is a wire body soft hackle. I like to use this color variation to represent caddis, and it works extremely well as a dropper tied behind a dry fly. The wire gives it just enough weight to sink, yet is light enough to flow in the current and not sink your dry fly. Subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.